California. He met Sahdeen around 1970 when he was a medical student in Lahore. He developed a relationship with Sahdeen in 1970-76. Now we would like to request Dr. Asarul Islam to come on the stage please. एक बार में साहिरी भी करके देखो एक बार में साहिरी भी करके देखो क्या फर्क है शायरी भी करके देखो तस्वीरों में अशार कहते हैं शायरी में सॉरी तस्वीरों में अशार कहे हैं मैंने शेरों में मुसवरी भी करके देखो I would like to invite Dr. Asrul Islam. He is going to give you talk about Saadkain, a mystic fakir. Jana, Dr. Asrul Islam. Honorable uh, Council General of Pakistan and uh, Salman Bhai, founder of the Saadkain Foundation and uh, Mazdas Hazreen, I'll speak both in Urdu and in English. My name is Dr. Rasul Islam Sayyid, and I am proud to stand up in honor of Saad Khan today, my mentor, my friend, with whom I worked as an assistant for seven long years, the most productive period of his life. In all these years, never but once I was given the opportunity to talk on Sadhakan. I was 24 years old when Pakistan Television interviewed me and I spoke the truth. The truth, because Sadhakan is the truth. One time, there was an American couple that had traveled all the way from Chicago, a Jewish couple who wanted to meet Sadhakan and they wanted to get some of his work. And they asked me, what is the meaning of the word Sadhakan? And Sadhakan was looking at me because always when such occasions came, he would look at me. And I said, Sadhakan means the truth, the whole truth and nothing else but the truth. That is what is Sadhakan. Pakistan television interviewed me and they did not have the courage or audacity to relay that interview that is still in the archives of PTV. And today as I stand before you, I remember my late mother who would see various individuals talk about Sadhakan on TV and would say, why don't they call you? And I would just stay quiet and say nothing. Today, as I stand before you, I'm going to briefly talk about this great man, the man whom the world needs to know. I, Asrul Islam Sayyid, I am a ferociously unconventional Muslim who has never been to the Islamic centers after the age of 18. And I say this with pride because as I graduated from Cadet College Hassan Abdal, where I studied the Quran, for the first time I learned that all these Islamic centers, they are preaching a lie. And I was one of the most lonely, one of the most lonely souls that came out from Hassan Abdal. And here nature brings me in contact with Sadhakan. At Hassan Abdal, I was a painter known for being the eccentric, as they call individuals who are unconventional and different, who dare to be different. And I used to paint. And in, during those days, I had the opportunity of seeing this mural 
and a tiny man standing. And I was 18 years old and he had painted this mural in Mangla. And Sadha Khan's mural was not only in limelight, but it was the highlight of the opening of the dam. And I saw those pictures and I wanted to see, and I could not fathom because I had been painting little things like, you know, portraits of various scientists and stuff, but I'd never seen what is a mural. Actually, I didn't know what a mural is. So I saw this huge painting and I could not fathom that a single man did that. And just in a few, in a few weeks, is it? 70 days. 70 days. So, when I was a first year medical student, because I was asked by Salman to tell first hand account of what was Sadhakan and who he was. When I was a first year medical student, I read in the newspaper that Sadhakan was living in town and he had moved from Karachi to Lahore with his exhibition. And uh, he was staying at Park Luxury Hotel, a hotel that 50 or 80 percent of that, all the buildings had been demolished. There were only two rooms of the hotel left. So I went up early in the morning and greeted him and told him that I just wanted to see him. And from that moment onwards, there developed a mentor-student relationship, a relationship of a friend, a relationship of a father and son. And despite being a medical student, I spent all my nights, all my days with the great Sadhakan. When you talk about the sensitivities of the artist, I'll give you one instance. Sadhakan is sitting behind me on my motorbike and we are on the mall road of Lahore just at the regal crossing there's a lot of traffic and suddenly as I'm slowing down for the traffic light Sadhikan says oh 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 and he suddenly gives me a jolt and I thought for an instance as I recall I thought somebody had shot or fired a bullet at us or what, what was that? So I suddenly parked, put my brakes and uh, I looked back and I thought maybe he had fallen or something had happened. So he said, oh, stop, stop. I stopped. And the next thought after seeing everything all right was probably something from his wallet had fallen. He never carried anything in, <laughs> anything in his pocket, you know, never. So, the only thing used to be his glasses. So I thought maybe those are gone or something has fallen. And by the time I could even question, he got off the motorbike and in the middle of all that traffic, he went about 30 yards. And I stopped because I thought obviously something has fallen over there and he's going over there. On the floor, he picked up a piece of paper Amongst the, you know, the tires and all the cars going, he picks it up, cleans it like this, and starts walking towards me, and he said, look, look. It was the wrapper of Lux Toilet Soap that had the beautiful picture of a model. And he said, you know, this is this is sacrilegious. If this was a verse of the Quran, would you not have stopped? If this was a paper bearing the verse of the Quran, I said, yes, yes. So he cleansed it and then he holds it like this and kisses like this and says, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. And he says, anytime I look at anything beautiful, that is what my heart recites. This is Sadhakan. Today as we stand looking at these beautiful calligraphies done right before 
in front of me, in some of those, in quite a lot of those, all the rough drawings and everything. I'm a direct witness to all that hard work, plus adding colors to various backgrounds and discussion, discussion of various say, shades and what's, how this is going to look like and all that. I was a part of all this, but looking at all this beauty, I was thinking of one verse of the Quran, in kuntum fi rebim, mimma nazalna ala abadena. If you are in doubt about the beauty of the Quran, if you are in doubt about the authenticity of this Quran, fatu bisuratim mim mislehi, fatu bisuratim mim mislehi, wadau shahdaukum, in kuntum sadikin. If you are truthful, come up and bring all the best amongst you to come up with something that beautiful. The Quran and the verses of the Quran, night after night, Sadiqin and I would talk about the Quran. Today, as we are talking about who is Sadiqin, and people refer to him as the mystic and the sinner, the the holy sinner. I just want to tell you what was Sadiqan. The Quran says, Allah inna awliya Allahu, la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. Only those befit the title of being called awliya Allah who are not afraid of anybody. Who are not afraid of anybody who will never censor anything. Free from fears, free from insecurities. And that was Sadiqan. <laughs> One more instance. Sadiqan used to give me so much recognition as, as, a, as my mentor that there were times I would feel shockingly embarrassed. But he just loved me for all the things that we shared together. Plus he was so fond of developing me, mentoring me, teaching me, he introduces me to Faz Ahmed Faz. And this is the introduction. Faz sahab, aaj aapko main mulaqat karwaunga aapki ek shakse. Now I'm sitting over there, I had undergone a lot of embarrassment like that in the past. Jaise ke aap jante hain ke I used to mimic him in front of him. Jaise ke aap jante hain ke theory of relativity jo hai uske baare mein duniya mein sirf 10 log the jo theory of relativity ko jante the. Ke theory of relativity kya hai? There were only 10 people that knew what is theory of relativity. This is him introducing me, not somebody, Fazimuth Faz, laureate of the Lenin Prize. Jaise dunia mein sirf 10 log hain jo theory of relativity ko jante hain aur one of them, one of them was Albert Einstein. Vaise dunia mein sirf 10 log hain jo ghalib ko samajhte hain, one of them is Asrul Islam. <laughs> this was Sadiqan introducing me and uh, Faz Sahib used to call me with a lot of, you know, we had a lot of discussions on the Quran. All the time Faz Sahib was masters of Arabic and uh, masters of English too. One of the most brilliant minds. These were two Wali Allahs that I had the honor to meet and to be with. And uh, on one occasion, as we are discussing something, Sadiqan and I are sitting together, there was this minister, a high powered government officer, the highest ranking, Abdul Hafiz Pir Zada, at the time of Bhutta's government. And Pir Zada was there to, you know, because he wanted to have Sadakan um, agree to paint two murals for the sports complex. 
And we were in, living in the Lawrence Gardens at that time. And there was a lot of protocol and they were cleaning the gardens because the minister was coming. So, not just the minister, the right hand man of the prime minister, Bhutto. So, there was police and everybody around and Sadhika and I were sitting together. We were discussing the beauty of some lady that had visited us last night. And she looked so pretty that Sadhika was constantly telling me the Dutch sub is Jawan Beti bhi hai. So we are discussing that lady and right in the middle of all this, Anwar, who used to cook food for us, comes in and says, Wo log aa gaye hain aur aapko bula rahe hain. Which meant Pirzada was there outside. And here is Sadhakan. The second time Anwar comes and says this, Wo log aa gaye hain, intazar kar rahe hain sare. Aapko bula rahe hain. Anwar, kaun aa gaya hai? Pirzada aa gaya hai? Abhe dekhta nahi mein kiske saath baat kar raha hoon? Pirzadeh roz roz paida hoote hain. Asrul Islam kabhi kabhi paida hoota. Dekhta nahi hai? Yani tu yeh chahta hai ke mein is mehfil ko chhoad ke jabke hum jamaliyat ki baat kar raha hai. Anwar tum to mere saath itna arsa rahe ho. Tu maalum nahi kab dakhal dena hai? Pirzadeh te keh do nahi mil sakte. Jau. Get out. This was Sadhakan. Allah inna awliya Allah la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. This was Sadhakan. Absolutely fearless about anybody. As Pakistan stands today on the forefront of fighting ISIS, fighting Islamic fundamentalism, nobody else is more relevant than Sadhakan. People know the Sadhakan, the artist. People need to know Sadhakan, the man. What made Sadhakan? We were talking about, we are looking for somebody, some individuals who can make a movie on Sadhakan so that the world can see who the real artist is. Sadhakan has painted more than any other artist that you can think of. And such a voracious painter and with the amount of productivity that was there. I also want to mention today, as we are talking about our relationship, how that relationship terminated. I was planning to get engaged. I was in the final year of medical school. And I told Sadhakan that uh, there's a girl, so he said, so I showed the picture of uh, Naila. So Naila yahan pe hain. Ab unke samne baat kar raha hu. Tasveer dikhai. To sadkin kehne lage, hmm, dekho Akbar e Azam ne jab Jahangir ne kaha ki main Anarkali pe aashiq ho gaya hu, to Akbar e Azam ne पहले तो बहुत गुस्सा आया और फिर कहा कि दिखाओ तो सही और जब दिखाया और देखा तो मालूम है अकबर ने क्या कहा मैंने कहा नहीं अकबर ने कहा रुखे जेवादारी कि है बड़ी खूबसूरत इसमें कोई शुभ नहीं उसके बाद साधकेन ने देखा दूसरे दिन मुझे कहते हैं असल इस्लाम तुम्हारे लिए एक बड़ी खास चीज है खास चीज रुबाइयाँ लिखते थे सिगरेट के रैपर पे मेरा हैंडराइटिंग और उनका हैंडराइटिंग इस दर्जे मुशाबे था कि सुबह उठ के देख के कहते थे कि ये तुमने रात में लिखा था कि मैंने लिखा था तो कहने लगे कि ये एक रुबाई है नायला के यहाँ पे एक तिल है जो बड़ा खूबसूरत है और ये बड़ी मशहूर रुबाई जो कि और लोगों ने भी सुनी है लोगों को नहीं मालूम कि रुबाई किसके बारे में कही गई थी नायल अदर आप खड़ी हो जाएं प्लीज यहां सामने दिस माई वाइफ नायला सैयद 
रुबाई सुनिए अब मुझको निगाहों में समोना तिल है अब मुझको निगाहों में समोना तिल है अब दिल के चमन में मुझे बोना तिल है बिस्मिल्ला में जैसे के हो नुकता ऐसे उस सांवले मुखड़े पे सलोना तिल है मुझसे खास ताकीद करते थे मैं लॉट ऑफ बहुत सारी खातन आती थी मिलने तो मुझे कहते थे कि असल इस्लाम एक चीज देखिए तहारत निगाह से देखना है तहारत निगाह ये है कि आप जब देखें तो आपके दिल में जमालियात का एहसास पैदा हो दैट वॉज द तरबियत विच ही डेड एक दफा सादकैन के पीछे मौलवी पड़ गए और मौलवियों ने एक इस्लामिक सेंटर में इस्लामिक सेंटर नहीं और पाकिस्तान सेंटर सॉरी <laughs> पाकिस्तान नेशनल सेंटर में एक इज्तम किश्वर नाहिद ने कहा किश्वर नाहिद साहिबा ने कि सादकैन आप आएंगे तो उस प्रोग्राम का इनविटेशन कहा कि मैं आऊंगा ही नहीं दुनिया आए उस प्रोग्राम का नाम था सादकैन सरे मख्तल तो ये जितने फतवा देने वाले और ये ब्लास्फेमर्स और ब्लास्फेमी की बातें करने वाले ये मौलवी साहिबान का एक ग्रोह था और सादकैन ये रुवाई पढ़ते हुए कि कहने का है हरफ हक सुनहरी मौका एक लश्कर कुफार मेरे सामने सादकैन वहां पे गए हैं और वहां जाके खड़े हुए तो उन्होंने सवाल किया पहला सवाल आपसे ये है कि आप शिया हैं या ये बताएं कि नहीं है उन्होंने कहा कि मैं और बहुत कुछ हूं मगर राज में हूं आप बात कीजिए क्या बात करनी है ना आई वॉज द ओनली टफ मैन स्टैंडिंग ओवर देयर तो मेरे छह फुटे कद पर उनको बड़ा एतमाद था कि लड़ाई झगड़े के सूरत में मैं थोड़ा डिफेंड कर लू तो मैं वहां खड़ा हूं और ये ग्रोह है वहां इन लोगों का और आ रहे हैं उस जमाने में इतनी वैशी शक्लें नहीं थी जितनी अब है तो वो वहां पे आए और उन्होंने साधकेन से कहा कि हमने इसलिए पूछा था कि आप शिया हैं कि आप अल्लाह की कसम नहीं आप हजरत हुसैन की कसम खा के कह सकते हैं कि आप शराब नहीं पीते तो सादगन खड़े हो गए और कहने लगे कि मैं हजरत अली और हजरत अब्बास और जनाब सकीना की कसम खा के कहता हूं मैं पीता हूं पीता हूं पीता हूं और उसके बाद सादगन ने जो रुवाई पड़ी मैं पीना वा मैं पीना वा तू कहना की है मैं पीना वा मैं पीना वा तू कहना की है अखलाक अखलास दी रावच तू कहना की है ये मामला है मेरा नाल मेरे मौला दे लत मुला तू ए अड़ेना की है और इसके बाद ये उसी साथ गैन की जरूरत है एन उस भरी मजलिस में जुर्बाई अब आप बुरा न मानिए कि सच्चे की बात हो रही है रुवाई सुनाई हम इसलिए पीते हैं शराब ऐसा की असल इस्लाम सुना दें सुना दें देखिए सुना दें हम इसलिए पीते हैं शराब ऐसा की तहजीब की कदरें हैं खराब ऐसा की हम घर ना पिए मैं तो यकीनन कर दें फिर शेख की बेटी को खराब ऐसा की हम इसलिए पीते हैं और फिर जो ऐसी बात कही तो मौलवी साहिबान जो थे वो सुन रहे थे और बरम हो रहे थे और महफिल जो थी आखिर में बर्खास्त हुई पुर अमन तरीके के साथ बड़े ही क्योंकि उस जमाने में पाकिस्तान में आ, हमारी जो फौज थी उसमें दाढ़ी वाला कोई नहीं था दैट वॉज अ पाकिस्तान दैट आई न्यू एंड दैट वॉज द कैडेट फ्राम कैडेट कॉलेज दैट आई न्यू दैट वॉज नो सच थिंग पाकिस्तान हैड अ 
army, uniform, rule of law and all that stuff. So, ye cheez yaha sadhken ke baare mein baat karte huye aur aakhir mein, aakhir mein, mein aap sab se kahunga, aap log jo achche maali taur pe bhi achche hain, मेरी वाइफ जो कि चाइल्ड साइकाइट्रिस्ट हैं उन्होंने खास तौर पे कहा कि सादकैन अगर ना होता तुम्हारी मेंटरिंग में तो अल्लाह जाने तुम क्या बन गए होते इसलिए कि जिस दर्जा आग मेरे अंदर थी सादकैन ने उसे चैनलाइज किया और मुझे इनकरेज किया टू बी समथिंग आज अल्लाह के फजल व करम से अमेरिका के सिविल सर्विस में जो हाईएस्ट पोजीशन हो सकती थी किसी एक डॉक्टर की आई for 14 years I worked in that position all because of the good mentoring of one person and the thing which Naila asked and asked me that I should ask all of you is please mentor one child pick up one child and mentor him. <laughs> mentor means be the father to him guide him Sadhakan was such a guide Whenever Faz Saab and Sadhakan and other rest of them, Munnuji, they would have a drink of alcohol and I was an adult with them or a Surah Islam ke liye ice cream aayegi. So all the time there would be ice cream. I would feel belittled ke jab aap 25 saal ke ho jayenge. Surah Islam is mein koi aisi bure maanne ki baat nahi. Aap jab tum 25 saal ke ho jao ge to apne dast khasul khas se apne haath se kyunke France mein qaida hai ki jab bachcha 25 saal ka ho jata hai to use baap pilata hai to main tumhe apne haath se ye jam bhar ke bismillah ir rahman ir rahim pad ke tumhe ye pilaunga lekin usse pehle aap ice cream khayenge this was sad thank you very much I have, we are uh, a group visiting here from Bakersfield, Waha Bakersfield mein Hamari Tehreek movement to enlighten Pakistan, Jannat Pakistan, Hamara radio station Shalimar Radio, or Hamare Bakersfield ke Urdu Baitak ke jo afraad hain, un mein teen khawateen bhi yaha maujood hain, we want to give a small gift, a token to Sadiqan Foundation. I would like to take care of this gift. With that gift, Eli Azhar, take care of this gift. Take care of this gift. Naila Sayyid, take care of this gift here. Thank you so much. Urdu Baitak. हमारी बेहद मकबूल है फेसबुक पे हमारे वीडियोस अब तक हमने 11 बैठक्स किए हैं हंड्रेड्स ऑफ थाउजेंड्स पाकिस्तानी उसको देखते हैं तो इस बैठक को जिसे मैं साथ लेके आया मैंने कहा ये मोबाइल उर्दू बैठक है मोबाइल का तर्जुमा मुश्ताक के मध्यस्वी ने किया है गश्ती उर्दू बैठक तो ये मोबाइल उर्दू बैठक यहाँ पे है सलमान भाई आइए I would uh, like uh, Eliazar to pass this on to Effat and pass this on to Naila. And Naila, you hand this uh, little token. Uh, let it face the camera, please. Yes. And uh, this is a, a, to um, a gift uh, to Sadiqan Foundation from us. Thank you very much. This says Sadiqan. Our moment to remember, 10th of February, 2016. 10th of February is the date when my mentor, father, and father of art, and the greatest artist of the world, Sadkin, passed away. This is from Asrul Islam and Naila Sayyid, Jannat Pakistan Incorporated. <laughs>